smaller. These two, 52 kilos apiece. Experience in favour of Preston. She is the older of the two, but make no mistake, Kim Townsend is a very, very talented young lady. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first super fight of the evening. It is scheduled for four two-minute rounds of female K1 kickboxing action. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. She's the current WMC 52 kg champion. She has 21 wins, six losses. Representing Darren Reese Jim, this is Lil Kim Townsend. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner is the current IKF Flyweight World Champion. She has 44 wins, 12 losses, with four big wins coming by way of KO. Representing ETK headquarters, would you please put your hands together for Michelle Michelle! Business from Michelle Pressure Preston. All right, ladies, first of all, you both protect yourselves at all times. You listen to my instructions, you obey my instructions. When I call break, stop what you're doing, step away from each other until I say fight. Questions? Shake them up. Best of luck. Back in your corner, out at the bell. Uh, Michelle Preston wasn't really keen on the formalities there. Two very powerful gyms, ETK and the Riddler's Gym with Darren Reese, trainer of multiple, multiple women's world champion, Katie Reese. Ready, ready, time on. And Ooh. little Kim Townsend. She's in the red and black, Michelle Preston, who led off with that long teep from the back leg. She's in the white and red. Preston. Very sharp with the hands, good with the angles. Kim Townsend's a girl who likes to come forward and grapple. So let's see how she works under K1 rules. A little bit awkward to start things off. Preston looking for the up jab. Preston working the circle well, doubling up with the hook off the jab. And you can see immediately, a little bit tense. Both these girls are pretty dry, Monty. So it's a little bit slow and a little bit tense initially. Yeah, a little bit different to the other fights we've seen in the Eliminator. This is four rounds, three minutes. Both girls still through the filling out process. Maybe it was the anthems that took away the sweat. Obviously backstage you want to get a good beat of sweat going, feel nice and warm and prime. So can you bet your best and nimblest when you're out here? A couple of heavy low kicks there from Townsend. She's not so confident in the hands department though. Michelle Preston doubling up with her kicks. Lead with the left hook, tried to get the right hand over the top. This is very much her style. K1 rules. A nice little left hand there from Townsend. Up jab with the thumb up there from Preston. She's definitely moving, making Townsend come to her. Picking her off too, which is quite nice and handy from the outside. This time came with the one, two, following with the nice back kick. Yeah. Working that front kick well. She's second phasing well off her kicks there, Preston. Little spearing right hand when a kick was caught. Lands the knee off the clinch. The left hook went round behind the back of the head, so she kept it secured and threw the free knee. Uppercuts there too. Well, there's a round you can lock away for the red corner. Good work around the periphery from Michelle Preston. Little Kim Townsend just taking a little bit of time to find her rhythm. Yeah, yeah, let's have a listen to Jason study. The round was good, okay? But the judges, I want more, more, because you can do more. When you're attacking, it's good. Your movement is great, okay? Your angle is good. Just when you're coming in, when she's coming towards you, your hands are dropping, you're looking over your hands. Look for your gloves. When she punches at you, bang, throw your kick like you always do. Yeah, without hesitation, bang, just let it go. Cool? So busy at work, right? Nice work there from Preston, firing the knee on the inside out of the clinch there, Monty. Yeah, nice advice from the corner, Jason Sutty. Who knows what he's talking about? Obviously, the two, Michelle Preston, a lot more experienced, but... It's about showing that experience and really hitting that home. 
Preston just working around the edges again. And advice from Townsend's corner was to throw the kick as she comes into punch. So time that. So Preston just needs to vary her rhythm a little more. Goes downstairs to the body. Preston's never been a heavy hitter. What happened there? Just a slip. She got heavy kicks, Townsend, when she starts to land them. She step over right hand there and she brought up the left leg again. She cuts well with her kicks. Left hook landed. And an outside kick, also counted with an inside kick. And you're starting to see Townsend just counting with that left leg in particular. And pressure coming on, two fisted volleys. Townsend, she's just lacking in the hands department. Although she did land a shot on Preston coming in. That's uh, Preston. Chews those up pretty well. Very good chin. And I've never seen her throw a spinning <laughs> before in her entire career. I'm sure it's not the first, but... Uh, well, she was changing levels well, wasn't she? She's going up and down with a variety of punches. Probably getting a bit too cocky then with the spinning back kick like you spoke about. Preston got her front kick caught, came over the top with her right hand. She's just a little, she ate a nice little counter right hand from Townsend. I think she's got some power there, Townsend, when she throws it. Missed with the uppercut. That inside fire of Preston's is taking a bit of damage at this point. Takes a couple of front kicks. And you just see the, the speed of Townsend when she does throw those kicks. Again, that inside fire kick. And Monty, that can take a lot of the leverage away from a, a boxing heavy puncher. Oh, or oh, definitely, definitely. Like we talk about the body shots in boxing, but these leg kicks, they really take away from the fuel they've got, the energy levels, even, even just the legs itself having a foundation. That's for sure. And Darren the Riddler Reese, former Australian champion. Now a trainer of multiple champions. It's different when you throw your punches. It's great when you're letting your hands go, but you've just got to find that range a little bit better. So when you close, when you punch, when you close your knee, when she's close punching, you're kicking, okay? Off balancing it, off balancing by the inside leg. Well, it makes sense from Jason Sutty. Use a little bit longer lever when you're in close and she's kneeing, you kick. She's punching, you knee. Great stuff there as we see the gills exchanging punches. A little bit off balance there as Townsend. We saw, saw variations of attack in terms of kicks from Michelle Preston. Townsend being told to find range. Michelle Preston, that was a left hook. Well, it did catch her off balance. Good call from John the Rebel Conway. It was still a legitimate punch. There's a right hand that landed. A little bit sloppy, but the pressure is coming on from Michelle Preston, the girl from ETK. Second phasing, well. I'd like to see Preston just double up on her left hand a little more. A slapping lead hand there out of the clinch. Uppercut left hook from Preston. Townsend wants to walk forward now. Through the straight right there. Very to and fro. This is round three of four. Michelle Preston, the Kiwi girl in the red and white. Kim Townsend, the Australian girl, doubling up on her left leg there in the red and black. Wrapping up in the clinch. This is K1 rules, so just the single knee required, allowed rather. Nice little counter from Preston. Good exchange of kicks from both girls. High skill level. Right hand landed there. Nice work from Preston in the clinch. Landed the right hand, then secured the knee as well. Heavy kick there from Townsend, although that second one was checked. Both girls are starting to show a lot of reddening around the thighs. That rear leg of Michelle Preston taking some bruising. Nice angle there from Townsend stepping off and coming with her own right leg kick. Preston just needs to fake a little bit on the way in just to see if she can catch up. 
Well, that's another round you can lock away for Preston. By virtue of the fact she landed better with her handiwork, but those kicks are starting to come into play. Some nice so changes in that round from both women. To, to hear what Jason Sutty has to say. Faint and then shoot. So faint now, faint and then shoot, okay? Faint, shoot. Let's do, let's do, let's do, do some shuffling. The body shots are always landing, so don't stop. They're landing good, they're good clean points. Everyone can see them. Let's go one body three, one body head, one whether you throw a nine or a right rip. One of those hands, you always pick them that quick on. That was your best by far the round. Okay. Second Well, Jason Sutty calling for more fakes from Michelle Preston and work the body. The fakes will just stop the timing of Townsend, who started to find her range with the kicks on the way in. This is the fourth and final. Superman punch from Preston, missed with it. The feints. There were the feints there. There's the body shot. She's a girl who follows instructions. Both girls, round knees in the clinch, broken up. I'd like to see a straight right there from Preston, just straight down the tubes, catching Townsend on the way in. Nice lead leg left kick from Preston. There's a clash of shins, that little hurt. Preston missing with the right hand. That was a slip in the neutral corner. Preston's listened to instructions well. She's gone to the body. She's buried up her leads. Well, Townsend is really starting now to find a range with that left leg. Both girls working away in the clinch. Townsend's kicks. There's a big right hand from Preston. Townsend's kicks definitely have some pepper on them. She's off balance when she's kicking, but I wouldn't blame a, a referee for calling it for a count because it's still from a clean punch. Here's a left kick that uh, set Michelle Preston on her heels. Exchange of left kick for a jab. The kick should win. Preston going for the jab to the body. There's the left hook that landed. Townsend now starting to find a home with those kicks. Countering her well. That's the end of the fourth and final round of the Super Fight. New Zealand versus Australia. Michelle Preston up against Kim Townsend. I think Preston will take it on the judges' cards. But you could see that those kicks of Townsend certainly had some effect. Preston, though, over the course of the fight, she landed cleaner punches with her hands. Caught Townsend kicking on a few occasions and sat her on her backside, although that's not an eight count. And the right hand left hook landed, and that was something that was a constant throughout the fight. The kicks of Townsend versus the handiwork of Michelle Preston. And we're just awaiting the judges' tally. four rounds of K-1 action. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a majority decision winner. Yeah. Your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Michelle Crusher Preston!